It's the 29th of March, 2023, and it looks like Amazon have got a new trick up their sleeve to block side-loaded apps. If you're watching this as a short, tap the thumbnail in the bottom right-hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. As I say, it looks like Amazon have got a new trick up their sleeve to block sideloading apps or apps that have been sideloaded. A number of users have reported that Launcher Manager has just simply disappeared before their eyes. One minute, the icon is there. Then they've gone to look for it again later on and it's gone. It's been uninstalled. They've not uninstalled it looks like Amazon have. Strangely enough, when you reinstall Launcher Manager, all the settings that you set in it are still in place. So they haven't deleted any of the configuration files. It is just literally the app itself. So why have Amazon done this to Launcher Manager? Well, I think the bottom line is, is Fire Sticks and Fire TV Cubes are heavily subsidized by Amazon. And also, companies such as Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, etc. have paid money to have buttons placed prominently on the Fire Stick remote. Now, Launcher Manager will allow you to completely block virtually all the adverts on the Fire Stick. It replaces the home screen on the Fire Stick and Fire TV Cube. And that home screen, like I say, has lots of promotions for lots of Amazon stuff. And also recently, lots of non-Amazon stuff as well. You might have seen there's an advert bar might appear from time to time just below the find and search area. There's also a sponsored section here where companies have obviously paid to have their apps prominently displayed. Now, at the end of the day, if you're using something, for instance, like Wolf Launcher, then that removes all this sponsorship that these companies have paid so much for. And at the end of the day, that's how Amazon afford to subsidize the stick and the cube is by advertising. And they also advertise their own services, their own Amazon video TV and, and all the latest and greatest series and films. I mean, when you go to the main menu there, there you go up the top there. There's an advert for something on Apple TV that's coming soon. But obviously, there you go. Perfect addiction from Prime. So it's promoting various services videos. Now, as I say, if you're using a, uh, a custom launcher, you don't get to see that. Obviously, a lot of people don't want to see it. But these companies have paid lots of money to have their adverts put on the stick and your stick has been reduced in price as well because of all of these adverts. And Launcher Manager can also remap the four buttons on the bottom of the Fire TV stick remote. These buttons, like I say, are sponsored by companies like Hulu, Netflix, Disney Plus, Amazon have got their own buttons on there. And again, co companies have paid money to have buttons with shortcuts to their own services placed on the remote. And we're not talking a couple of quid or a couple of dollars. It's thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of pounds and dollars they've paid to have that. And if somebody's come along like the person that's developed Launcher Manager and allowing those buttons to be changed, Amazon can't continue to charge to have these buttons placed on the remote. And also Amazon are going to have to increase the cost of the Fire Stick and Fire TV Cube. Now, they've only just recently, for the first time ever, put the price up of the Fire Sticks. Now, these could quite easily, without sponsorship, these prices could quite easily double at the very least. So at the end of the day, OK, it's annoying for a lot of people that they've lost the ability or, or they're, they're being kicked with the ability to use Launcher Manager and use a custom launcher and, and remap these buttons. But you've got to look at the bigger picture. Amazon are losing a lot of money from this sort of thing. Now, 
as I understand it, apparently you can reinstall Launcher Manager and it does reinstall, but I get the feeling that Amazon are going to continue to keep removing it and it is going to end up being a bit of a cat and mouse game. You're going to see it disappear. You're going to reinstall it and probably within a day or so, it's going to disappear again. Now, it might be that the developer of Launcher Manager may find a way around it. I think at this stage, it's unlikely. But then again, we all said when Amazon first blocked Launcher Manager, that that was it. We're never going to be able to sort of see the likes of Launcher Manager come back and replace the stock launcher. But the developer pulled out all the stops. He defied the odds and he managed to find a way of getting it back on there. For the moment, it is still working, but it's likely that Amazon are going to keep removing that app. What are your thoughts on this subject? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, I know some of you have said in the past that you don't actually use Launcher Manager now. You you sort of put uh, a Wolf Launcher or your Launcher perhaps on the top row of, of, of icons. So you've moved it right to the very top, a prom prominent position there. And when you want to go into Launcher Manager, you just go across to there, go into that app there, and there you go. Uh, but the only thing is when you press the home button, you obviously go back to uh, the Amazon stock launcher, which, okay, like I say, isn't a bad thing when you think about it because there is a lot of sponsorship on there. And that's the reason why your Fire Sticks and your Fire TV Cubes are so cheap in comparison with the alternatives. So let us know in the comments down below what your thoughts, good or bad or indifferent, love to hear from you. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.